Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm going to show you 10 PVC life hacks that are going to make your life easier. You ever been taking a shower and shaving and put your razor down and it just falls all the way through? Well, I got an easy way to fix that. Take you some 3 quarter inch PVC and some zip ties. And there you go. You'll never have a problem with dropping your razor again. Using PVC, I'm going to show you an easy way to clean your gutters. This is in your standard nozzle sprayers, whatever you want to call it, that has the screw tip here. You have an adapter of PVC that connects to this half inch pipe that runs out here to a 90 degree elbow, a little more, more PVC, and another end cap that I have a hole drilled in the bottom. Then I can just take this, hold it up to my gutters, and I have an easy way to clean my gutters without having to climb under roof. You ever been outside relaxing and you just did not have a great place to put your can? Well, we have a great place to put it now with this PVC. This is a one and a half inch pipe. You can cut it to the desired length you want so you can have any height. And this is a one and a half inch to three inch adapter, which works great for your cans. When you go to, to put this in the ground, it is good to always cut a good angle on it so that it goes in easier. The great thing about the PVC is you can paint this any color you like, and that way it can match your already accessorized yard. If you're planning on going on a camping trip or just out for a picnic, and you wanna put some ice in your cooler, instead of just putting ice directly in your cooler and getting everything wet, go get you some PVC. This is one and a half inch, this is two inch. And get you some end caps, and you fill up your water about three quarters of the way. Get you some cement, glue, uh, fill it up, put your cement on there, get everything nice and tight, and then let that sit for a little bit to dry. Put it in your freezer for several hours, and then you can put them to your, in your cooler. The best thing about using the PVC is that you can cut these to whatever size cooler you have. So if this is a little bit too big, you can trim it down and make it to the size that you wish so it'll stay in your cooler. Now that's a great way, you can use these over and over and over, just freezing them. Great little way to, to store your stuff and keep them cold without getting it wet. Alright, when you're preparing for those outside campovers and, and uh, just fun times outside with a little fire, you have to bring in a bunch of wood. Well, it's, it can be a pain carrying all this wood. I'm going to show you a simple way to carry the wood with some PVC. I got two pieces of PVC here, both of them about a foot long, and I have drilled a hole all the way through on both ends of the PVC. Then I got some paracord here. These are about three feet long, but you can make them whichever length that you prefer. Feed the paracord through, tie a little knot. You want these to be about the same length apart. So you may have to hold this up, give them about level, find out where you're gonna put that knot in there. Okay, now you have this set up here. You lay it on the ground, get you a couple pieces of wood in it for carrying. You interlace the PVC against each other, if I can get it correctly here. And there you go, homemade wood carrier with some PVC. Have you ever found a snake in a house just not know what to do? Well, we're gonna act like this cord here is a snake and I'll show you exactly what to do. All right, we got some half inch PVC here. We're going to put it in my vise. I got a drill with a pretty good sized drill bit on it. We're gonna drill a little hole near the end. If I can. And make sure it only goes through one side, like this. Just one side, don't go through the other. Then I got some paracord here. You can use about any kind of string. And you want to get it through that hole. And then just tie a knot. Pull it tight. You want to pull out 
probably, I don't know, two, three inches of paracord, make a little loop. Then you want to feed the rest of it down into the pipe. Okay, then once you get it all the way through, you have your loop there. And if you come right over here, we'll go back over here to the, to the cord. You reach out with the stick and the paracord up around. And now you got your snake by the head where it can't bite you. There you go, that's how you get a, a snake with PVC. When you come back from the grocery store, you have a ton of groceries and you're trying to collect all these bags and it could just get real, it could hurt your hand if you have too many. So, if you take some PVC, this is a one inch PVC and I've cut it to just over six inches. You take a, a drill bit, drill a hole all the way through. On the other side, cut you out a notch. Take you some paracord. I got a paracord I'm gonna feed through here here if I can like so you want to tie yourself a little knot in it and when it's tight on the other side you want to create yourself a loop so that the loop goes into the notch so now we're gonna feed this loop through all our bags then you take the end of the loop put it in your little notch you can easily carry all the bags at once, and this doesn't hurt my hand at all. In fact, it feels pretty good right around the grip piece. There you go. Great way to carry your bags with some PVC. Here's a cheap and easy way to extend your fence height. Take some one and a half inch PVC, cut it to the length desired, slide it over your existing pipes or stakes, and then add some more fencing. And there you go. Simple and easy. Let me show you a great way to make a clamp using the PVC. First, take a piece of PVC that's about one inch or larger, and you want to cut it about one inch or slightly bigger lengthwise. Then lengthwise, you want to cut a notch into it. Once you have the notch, then almost like a pair of legs, you want to drill a couple holes into it. All I have here is some wooden dowels, and I just cut them the length that I wanted put them in place and it works great like a clamp. Another benefit to this clamp is if you have some paper, take the clamp and you put it on, it holds quite well. Then if you need to, you can take the wooden dowels out and now you have a clamp holding your paper and nothing in the way. I got a great way to store your saws. If you take a piece of PVC, this is half inch, and you make a nice cut long ways down there, just a little bit longer than the length of your saw. You take your blade, you slide it, no, let's try it again, slide it all the way in. One, this will protect your blade and keep it sharp for a long time. Two, this is also great in case you have kids, if they bump into it, they're not gonna get cut. And that's just another great way to use PVC.